Okay, so this for me is about the fifth time I've had to come back to this uh, because I just keep forgetting the explanation I gave for myself the first time I learned about attention. So hopefully by making this video, I'll really drill it into myself and if, uh, if anybody watches this, uh, hopefully it'll be helpful for you too. So I'm just going to restrict this conversation to, to self-attention. Um, it's a bit easier to talk about uh, and then you can extend that to uh, you know, not self-attention. Um, and also I'm going to talk about it in terms of vision, just because, again, it helps me visualize. Uh, and I do work with computer vision. So, um, and if you're from uh, NLP, don't worry, it will be more or less the same and you'll see how. So uh, in vision, what we'll do is we'll take an image uh, and then we'll break it up into patches like this, right? And we'll unfold the pixels in those patches. And then for each patch, it will, will, um, we'll use a linear transformation to give us an embedding, which is a one dimensional vector of some, some dimension. That's all DE embedding. Um, and uh, for the NLP people, I mean, you can just unfold this image, right? And just have it as one long sequence of patches. So by going along, so by going along here and then along here and then along here, etc. Just get rid of that. And then so this could be like Mary had a little lamb, right? And so each of these are words now. And then you can calculate again the word embedding, right? Um, so for each of these embeddings, uh, we apply another linear transformation, uh, one, uh, three linear transformations in parallel, right? Uh, to compute uh, uh, another vector called the query vector, another vector called the key vector, and another query called the, the value vector, right? And they each have their own dimensions and uh, in this example because it's self-attention those will actually you will end up getting this right they're all the same um, and here's where I like to I, I like to personify um, you know each of these patches and what these mean um, because it helps me remember things right so let's call this patch here Mary right that fits and uh, what, we're, what we're saying really is that everyone in the room, and we'll call this a room now, and these are all different people, they, they, have a, a certain, they hold a certain piece of information, we'll call that the, the value vector. They all have a value vector, uh, and they have to decide what to do with it um, and as, as a room, right? Because this is attention, right? So attention is, is a mechanism which lets Mary attend to uh, all the other people in the room. So what Mary is going to do is actually she's going to yell out. She's going to say, hey, who's important to me at this point in time uh, and, and what I'm interested in? And that's her query, right? And that query is going to combine with the keys that everyone else is holding. So those are everyone's answers to, to her question. And maybe Bob will, will shout out back to Mary, hey, I'm super important. And he will be loud, whereas Charlie over here doesn't really say much, right? We'll see how that works in a minute. And the idea is that Mary then kind of by, by process of vote, uh, not, not actually, it's not a vote because there's not a single outcome, but she, she weighs in everybody's responses and based on that takes a little bit of their value, right? Uh, and then, and combines them in a weighted manner, uh, to, to forward propagate further, um, you know, her overall answer to the question, if you will. So we'll see how that works in a minute. So. We go back to math a little bit. Um, so if we look at all these positions here and there are N of them uh, and, and each of them have DQ dimension uh, query vector, we can pack all of these into a matrix like a, an N by DQ matrix. So this is the uh, sequence dimension and this is the uh, query vector dimension, right? And then we can matrix multiply that with the keys, uh, so by the way, this is here, right? And then we can matrix multiply that with the key vectors, and then we got to transpose that. So that's dk by n, right? So it's along this dimension, it's n, and along this dimension, it's dk, right? So what we're doing when we do this matrix multiplication is we're uh, we're writing in a really compact form exactly what I said before, which is 
Mary, um, sorry, this was meant to be the Q, by the way. So Mary uh, is the first one in the sequence here. So she's this row here, and this is her query vector. And what we do with matrix multiplication, as we know, is we take this and dot product it with the first column here, then dot product it with the second column here, etc. Right? Um, so, and that ends up giving us an n by n matrix. So this is this first multiplication here is uh, or dot product here is Mary shouting to herself, kind of. She's a bit weird that way, and then you know she kind of also gives herself an answer. So her query is dot product with her own key and she kind of decides for herself how important she is or her value is, right? And so this, this gives you some, some number, right? And then she then, she's also yelling out to Bob, for instance, and Bob um, gives, you know, his, his answer, which is the dot product of Mary's query and Bob's, uh, Bob's key and to Charlie and to who, everyone else in the room, right? She shouts out them simultaneously and listens to hear how loudly they shout back. And then, so this softmax here is effectively normalizing over all the shouts so that this, this, you know, row sums to one. And so now Mary has kind of like a heat map, right, of how important everyone's values are to, to her at that point in time. Um, and then Bob will do the same. Uh, he'll shout out to everyone else and get his heat map. Charlie will do the same, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then the next operation, so what I've, what, I'll just clear this up a bit. So what I've done here is I've computed this. Um, this is just division by a scalar, so that's not, not particularly interesting. And then so now we're doing in the matrix multiplication with the value matrix. So we'll take the result and we'll, we'll put it over here. So we'll take this and I'll redraw it here, n by n, right? And each of these, you can consider them as a heat map for each person in the room. And then that will be multiplied by a N by DV matrix, which is all the value vectors packed into this matrix here, where this is the sequence of dimension and this is the, the dimension of the value vector, right? And then if we actually look at what's happening here is Mary kind of takes her heat map or understanding of how important everyone uh, everyone's values are to her at that point in time. And she, she, so first of all, she dot products it here. Well, let's not use Mary here. Let's just use math. So you take the dot product of this first row with this first column, right? And then, so by the way, the answer, the resulting matrix comes out as N by DV again, right? So this dot product gives you this answer here. Then the next dot product gives you this answer here and so on, right? So what's happening though is because you're always dot producting with the same uh, row vector here is what you're getting is like you're taking all of the numbers in this column and you're taking what what we could consider to be a weighted sum of them or a weighted average because remember this is normalized to one with the soft max. So you're taking a weighted average of these and putting them here. You're taking a weighted average of these and putting them here. Um, but if you think about it, the weighted average is the same each time. The weights are the same across uh, the whole the whole matrix. Um, so you end up really taking a weighted average of all of the value vectors. That's what you what what you're doing. So if you rewind and go back to our personification of this problem, what Mary did is she shouted out to everybody, asked them how important their um, their value vectors are, which are these, and then took a weighted sum of them according to how loud everybody shouted back at her, uh, and the, the the shouting back at her mechanism is a dot product of the query and the key. And so this ends up really just being a weighted sum of all the values before the operation here, right? And then so on and so on, right? So the whole purpose of this exercise was to figure out how Mary should combine the values of everybody in the room to pass it on to the next uh, transformer, so multi-head attention actually, uh, layer, right? Uh, and that's it. That's the way I like to think about it. Um, and hopefully I won't forget it. Um, and, uh, and hopefully you won't either if you've watched this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't really do this, uh, normally. 
if if people like this, I guess I might, uh, but we'll see. Thank you.